Chapter 3 Fiber to Fabric Animal Fibers Introduction Clothes are an important part of our life. We wear clothes to cover and protect ourselves from extreme weather conditions and harmful insects and animals. Clothes worn by people also give information about their social, geographical and economic condition. In China, peasants were not allowed to wear silk for a long time. Silk clothes were worn only by the elite people of the society. Natural Fibers In Class 6, we learned about the different types of fabrics and their uses. We learned about natural and synthetic fibers and their sources. Cotton, jute, linen, silk and wool are common natural fibers that are used to make fabrics. While cotton is used mainly for making summer wear, wool is used to make winter wear due to its insulating properties. Silk is a very popular fabric and is used to make a variety of beautiful and expensive clothes. Let us learn more about how silk and wool are produced. Silk Silk is one of the very expensive fabrics all over the world. It is known for its smooth texture and shiny look. It is also one of the strongest fibers known. The strength of a silk thread is comparable to that of a steel thread of same size. Silk is produced by silkworms and the cultivation of silkworms to produce silk is called sericulture. History The story of silk dates back to about 5000 years ago in China. According to a Chinese legend, the queen of emperor Huangti was having tea in the garden when one yellow-colored cocoon fell into her tea and strands of thread separated from it. She discovered the thread to be strong and started weaving it into fabric. Hence, started the silk industry of China. For a very long time, the Chinese kept the silk production secret and made huge profits by trading it with other civilizations of Asia, the Middle East and Europe. In fact, the route taken by the traders for the exchange of goods is called as the Silk Route. It linked China with other places like India, Europe and the Middle East. Eventually, silkworms were smuggled out from China and silk production began in India, Europe and the Middle East. Even today, China remains the largest producer of silk in the world. Making of Silk Silk is an animal fiber. It is made by silkworms in the form of a cocoon they spin around themselves. A single thread from a cocoon can be up to 1600 meters long. The structure of silk is like proteins. It is a poor conductor of heat and keeps the body warm in the winter and cool in summer. Though they are called silkworms, the silk producing insects are actually the larvae of silk moth. Bombex morai, which are domesticated for large-scale production of silk. Let us learn how silk is produced from these moths. Raising silk worms. A silk moth lays about 200 to 300 eggs and dies. The eggs are kept in temperature range of 25 to 31 degrees Celsius in highly humid conditions for a gestation period of about 3 weeks. After that, the worms hatch out. They are kept in bamboo trays and immediately start feeding on fresh mulberry leaves. The worms are protected from harmful flying insects by wrapping the trays with cotton cloth. The worms are continuously fed, cleaned and moved for two to three weeks. After that, the worms stop feeding and are ready for making silk. Each silkworm now secretes liquid silk from an opening under its mouth. Within two to three days, they form a full cocoon around themselves. They are now called pupa. Extracting thread. The cocoons are then put in pots of boiling water to kill the insect inside and to make the outer coating soft and loose. Then the thread is pulled out from the cocoon by a special technique. A single thread is pulled and reeled. This process is called reeling of silk. Dying and spinning. The silk is dyed in different colors and spun into yarn. Different qualities of silk are separated based on the length and texture of the yarn. Weaving The yarn is woven into beautiful fabrics. 
most of the silk making work is done by the women in villages types of silk there are different types of silk made by different types of silk moths in india the main varieties of silk are mulberry tussar eri and muga these are produced in different parts of the country wool in winter we need to wear clothes which will keep us warm we wear different types of sweaters shawls mufflers etc most of these are made of wool in many homes women knit sweaters from colorful yarns in different designs why does wool keep us warm wool and fibers are thick and trap lot of air between them since air is a very good insulator of heat they keep us warm let us learn how we obtain wool and make different types of clothes from it sources of wool can you imagine weaving your hair into clothes and wearing them of course not it feels so distasteful however wool is nothing but hair of different animals animals like sheep yak some types of goats etc bear fine hair on their bodies to keep them warm these fibers are the source of wool for us the hair on the face and head are coarse and rough but the hair on the body are fine and softer these hair provide the fibers for wool though most of the wool is obtained from sheep other animals such as yak llama alpaca and few breeds of goats also yield wool there are different varieties of wool based on the source and the quality of fibers sometimes special breeds of sheep are chosen to produce offsprings which have very fine hair this is called selective breeding making of wool let us learn how the hair on the bodies of these animals are transformed into beautiful clothes rearing and breeding sheep are reared by shepherds all over the world if you travel in mountains you will come across huge herds of sheep grazing in the mountains and open areas sheep mostly feed on grass and leaves they are also given grains corn and oil cakes when the sheep have a thick layer of hair on their body they are ready for shearing shearing the hair coat on a sheep's body is removed by the process of shearing Shearing is done with the help of mechanical razors and is just like a hair cut for the sheep. It is done in summer as the temperature is high and the sheep can live without the fur. The hair removed from the sheep's body is called fleece. Scouring. The fleece contains lot of grease, skin and other waste materials. It is thoroughly washed to remove all this matter. This is called scouring. Scouring is done with soap or detergents or diluted acid solutions to dissolve all the vegetable matter and grease. Sorting After washing and drying, wool fibers are separated into different categories based on the texture. Removing of wool In this process, small fluffy fibers are removed and the wool is washed again. Dyeing The wool is then dyed into different colors. making yarn after dyeing the wool is combed either manually or by machines lastly the fibers undergo spinning to form the woolen yarn the woolen yarn is then knitted into clothes some indian breeds of sheep serial number name of breed quality of wool state where found one lohi good quality wool rajasthan punjab two rampur bushair brown fleece Uttar Pradesh, Himachal Pradesh, three Nalli, carpet wool, Rajasthan, Haryana, Punjab, four Bakharwal, for woolen shawls, Jammu and Kashmir, five Marwari, coarse wool, Gujarat, six Pattanwadi, for hosiery, Gujarat. Occupational hazards. Occupational hazards are the health problems or accidents that can happen to people working in a particular industry. Textile industry deals with production of fibers and clothes. People working in wool, silk and other fiber industries are exposed to many kinds of risks. Some of these are exposure to chemical agents. Many chemicals are used in dyeing, printing, finishing, bleaching, washing, dry cleaning, weaving and spinning 
दीज मे लीड टू रेस्पिरेटरी एंड स्किन डिसऑर्डर्स दीज केमिकल्स कैन कॉज एलर्जीज एंड इवन कैंसर एक्सपोजर टू डस्ट एंड फाइबर्स द एक्सपोजर ऑफ वर्कर्स टू डस्ट फ्रॉम मटीरियल सच एज सिल्क कॉटन वूल प्लैक्स एंड जूट कैन अकर ड्यूरिंग वीविंग स्पिनिंग कटिंग जिनिंग एंड पैकेजिंग Exposure to fibers and yarns may cause allergies and nasal or bladder cancer. Sometimes during sorting of wool, sorters get infected by a bacterium anthrax. It causes sorter's disease, which is a fatal blood infection.